different uh, this time around. Before I continue with uh, some more of the tutorials, uh, doing some mixing and such, um, I had sort of a, uh, a problem uh, getting all the audio to come together and so I could have the stereo output of Pro Tools and such. So I'm going to do a tutorial about making the tutorials today. Um, I It took me a lot of searching and a lot of figuring around to get around this problem, and, and I figured there might be a few of you uh, looking for the same kind of thing. So uh, hopefully this will help you out. Um, I came up with a cool solution that's better than, in my opinion, better than buying some software. So um, right now what I've got is um, I've got my audio coming from Pro Tools along with a microphone I'm talking into. One, right, so two, one, if you two, had three. some kind of audio going on that we were going to be discussing, doing a tutorial about, I'd want to be able to have independent control of, of that audio, which I can hear turn up and down. And I also want to be able to uh, stop that audio and not have my microphone recording stop. So I can't do it all in Pro Tools. I couldn't just record the output back to a track here because when I stopped this playback, um, it would stop also recording the microphone. So that's sort of the problem. You have sort of this uh, two layer thing you've got to get beyond. Um, you've got to have your, your microphone audio being captured continually while you start and stop Pro Tools. So you need another sort of layer above that. You need another mixer to catch all this. And um, there are some programs, I think, that you'd have to buy. I tried demos of different ones and I couldn't get it to work. So I was really reluctant to buy another one uh, that didn't give me a demo or something. Um, and there's a whole bunch of them out there if you look for it. But here's my solution. Um, I can now one, start and stop two. audio, be talking to you. It's in stereo. One, all right, you can hear this. Uh, one, listen, you can two, hear over three. the reverb on one side. hear the panning of that steel guitar and such so it sounds good here's the solution all right it's about a 35 40 dollar solution and it's the uh, um, Behringer Xenix 302 USB mixer okay I got one next to me here I just pulled this image from their site so that we could uh, talk about this briefly okay the first step and there were still tricks to this that's why I want to um, talk about this you um, I'm showing you in Pro Tools here you can do this in logic or whatever else you happen to be working with um, in this case here uh, I didn't want to include this uh, USB connection for this mixer into my Pro Tools aggregate I.O. You don't want to do that because what it does is it seems to um, use this then as your main output then from Pro Tools and then you wind up with the problem that you're getting the output from here instead of going to this where so that you can cap, uh, capture the audio stream. So uh, we start by making sure that this hasn't been included in your Pro Tools aggregate I.O., okay? It's for, you know, Pro Tools 9 and 10, where you have that um, aggregate I.O. for Pro Tools. Okay, so here's my uh, Pro Tools mixer. We've got Pro Tools running there. So what I needed to do was not have this plugged in, not have this connected by USB to the computer. Start Pro Tools. Everything runs fine. Check the audio. Then, <laughs> once that was in there, I had to then plug this in once Pro Tools was started. Because if I um, plugged this in, it still seemed to want to default Pro Tools to using this as the output, and then I was getting no output from Pro Tools that I could use. All right, so this is still kind of buggy and tricky, but um, this is working fine now, as you can hear. You know, I can go back to my uh, Pro Tools session here and one, play some audio. Two, you can hear one. it going, and my audio is continually being captured here. Okay, so once you make sure that this is not in the Pro Tools aggregate I/O. Okay, you start your session that you're going to do your tutorial in. Okay, then plug this USB device in. Okay, and then in, uh, um, I'm using a, just simply QuickTime with the Mac to capture. So you go in and go to new screen recording. Obviously, one's running now, so I can't start a new one. But when you go in there, then you'll select this mixer as being your source for all that audio. And now what I've got is I've got a, right here in front of me a Neumann TLM 103 plugged into the microphone input. Okay, and I've adjusted the gain and so on and so forth. And then I've got my, uh, from my monitor controller, I've uh, put the output of Pro Tools back into the line input here. Okay, and then adjusted that for balance. And I can also uh, tweak this while I'm talking. If, uh, you know, I did it before I turned it down. All right, while I was uh, discussing what was going on. Okay, and uh, then you wind up getting a continuous stream of audio going into your um, capturing program, which is being captured by, like I said, QuickTime Player. Okay, so that continues. And you can then start and stop One, Pro Tools two. as you need. And you're not uh, trying to capture your audio back into Pro Tools or running through that. And I was able to get an auxiliary input in Pro Tools to take the microphone, but then I wasn't getting a stereo 
capture into QuickTime. Okay, so this has been now the solution to get stereo, the stereo Pro Tools output, hear the mix in stereo, um, going into QuickTime, as well as a microphone going into QuickTime. And the cool thing is, is that instead of buying a $30, $40 uh, or even more uh, program to try to do this and not have the guarantee that it would work, um, I've got uh, sitting next to me here a little mixer that I bought that I can use for other things too. Um, I think the uh, mic pre on this sounds all right. I mean, if I was to uh, want to go and do a little location recording with a laptop, then I got this too. It's kind of a, a cool thing to have. All right, so um, I'm going to uh, post this one for you to enjoy this uh, blog post and um, hope this helps you if you're looking to uh, do this sort of thing. And then I'll continue uh, next post with uh, going back in, uh, uh, into some of these mixes that I was working on and uh, show you some more uh, tips and tricks and now having a stereo audio, all right? So thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.